हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सी एस हब एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टाइप ऑफ कीज ऑन दिस की बोर्ड यू कैन सी दैट देर आर सो मैनी कीज आर देयर एंड सो मैनी टाइम वी आर कन्फ्यूज दैट विच की इज यूज फॉर वॉट पर्पज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कीज alphabet keys alphabet keys is used to print alphabets okay alphabet a b dash 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 till z okay number key number keys are 0 1 2 3 till 9 with the combi combination of these uh, numbers we can make any number as you know already now come to space bar key space bar key is used to give space between two numbers two letters any two words anywhere if you want to give the space then you can press the space bar key this is the longest key of your keyboard this is also a question important question there are so many time it is asked that which key is the longest key on your keyboard so space bar key is the longest key on your keyboard now caps lock key caps lock key is used to type upper case do you know what is upper case upper case means capital if we are typing anything in capital letters then it is called upper case and if you are typing anything in small letters then it is called lower case okay small letters okay now uh this is the use of caps lock key and now symbol key symbol key with the help of symbol key we can type any symbol just like exclamation sign at the red sign ampersand sign hashtag sign mod sign caret sign and there are asterisk sign so many signs are there which is used with the help of symbol keys then enter key with the help of enter key we can enter to the new line okay sometimes we can enter to the new page also but it is mostly used for to enter the new line and uh, uh, it is done if anything is done then we are pressing our enter key now what is this use of shift key shift key is used to create a shortcut key okay with the help of shift key we are using shortcut key sometimes and a important quality of shift key is that if you want to press if you want to type any symbol then you have to press shift plus the symbol key on the key on which you want to press uh, on which which is the, just like that if you see that exclamation sign is there on number 1 key then if you want to press the if you want to type the exclamation sign then you have to press the number 1 key with shift if you want to type at the red sign then what you have to see uh, do you have to do press the number 2 key with shift key okay this is the point generally we are uh, uh, we are uh, calling the keys 1 key 2 key 3 key okay the number name with the number name we are not calling the keys with the uh, with symbol name okay so i am explaining you this uh, use of shift key if you have any doubt then you can ask me in comment box also now come to the tab key what is the use of tab uh, tab key with the help of tab key we can enter to the new page also okay 
now control key it is also used to go another way uh, control key what is the use of control key with the help of control key we can again create the shortcut keys control plus z control plus v control plus c so many keys are there so we are using control key to create a shortcut key now escape key what is the use of escape key with the help of escape key we can exit the app the file okay if you want to exit any uh, app and you don't have any way how to exit that then you can press escape key directly okay now arrow key what is the use of arrow keys with the help of arrow key we can go upside down side right side left side okay the, uh, we can bring our cursor to that direction function keys function keys are 12 okay f1 to f12 f12 there are 12 function keys and with the help of function key we can do so many functions i will explain you in separate video what are the functions of function keys okay now come to alt key alt key is also used to create shortcut keys with the help of alt combination of alt and some buttons we are using so many shortcut keys and window key window keys as the system have the uh, windows then window key and print screen prt print screen okay prt print and screen combination of print screen used to check the screenshots okay if you want to take the screenshot of your laptop your monitor then you will press the window key plus print screen key okay now come to next backspace key with the help of backspace key we can bring our cursor in backward direction now delete key delete key with the help of delete key we can delete the selected alphabet letter figures line page anyone which is selected we can delete it directly with the keyboard now num lock key if you are locking the num key then here you can see that some numbers are there and here is num lock key if you are pressing this num lock key then all the number here will be become unable and if you press off the number key then the all the keys become disable and these num keys are generally identified by a light here you can see a light then you can understand that it is lock or unlock and if it will type then it is unlock otherwise lock okay end key end key is used to go to the end of your document if you want to go the end of a lengthy document then you can just press the end key page up and page down key with the help of page up and page down key we can jump to the upper page or lower page home key is used to go to the jump to the home insert key we can use the insert key to insert anything there are so many some keys are there to insert anything print screen key print a uh, print screen as i have already told that with the help of window key we can use the print screen key as a shortcut key to check the screenshot of your uh, screen of your monitor screen now thank you friends if you think that this video is useful then you can hit the like button if you thought that you have to come again on this channel then you can also subscribe the 
this channel and if it is helpful then you can share this information with your friends with your colleagues and with your family members because this information is very general and important for all the person who are connected with computers okay there is no an issue that the person is uh, with it background or non it background but if the person is connected with computers then they need this information this knowledge okay then you can share it and thanks for watching cs hub thank you very much we will meet in next video with another basic information okay basics of computer i am clearing here so please be with me and keep learning keep growing thank you thank you very much